In this video, we will show you running PMM in vector mode using the Wizard Assistant and Motor Library. Varial Speed Drive AK06 Series Reliable and cost-effective solution for handling submersible electric centrifugal pumps in various operating conditions. For running the motor with Wizard Assistant, your software version should be 33.61 or above. If you have version of software below required, update it. How to update your software shown in video, VSD AK06 Software Update. To operate with the motor library, Download it from the official TRIO website and copy it to the flash drive. Note: The library is constantly being improved and supplemented with new motors. Follow the next steps to prepare a flash drive for writing a motor library. Format the flash drive in the FAT or FAT32 file system. Create a folder UMKA-3 in the root folder of the flash drive. Copy the motor library to the UMKA-3 folder. TRIO VSD AK06 allows you to operate with permanent magnet synchronous motor in two modes. In the mode of maintaining a given cosine by means of changing the output voltage and in vector mode which provides minimum power consumption in all modes of motor operation, instantaneous processing of load surge and shedding, as well as accurate maintenance of a given rotation speed. To facilitate the operation, it is possible to load motor parameters from a file in which there is a library with passport data of permanent magnet synchronous motors of various manufacturers. But it is possible to operate without this file, which will take more time to determine the missing data using measuring instruments and specialized operating modes of the VSD. Insert the flash drive into the USB socket and load the library as shown in the video. To select the required motor, you need to know the manufacturer of this motor, its name, size, number of revolutions, then you can select the tab with the location of a specific motor. Select the required motor and press enter. Check the correct parameters of the selected motor, then move on. If there is a long line, enter the required parameters, line, cable cross-section, impedance, then select finish entering parameters. If there is no long line, select no in the line section. Next, enter the parameters of the transformer, such as step up transformer power, prim winding voltage, and nominal frequency transform, and then move on. If you know the moment of inertia for a given equipment, enter it or apply the data from the file. If you are in doubt, press enter, and the equipment itself will measure the moment of inertia of the given motor and pump. However, this action will take some time. While the equipment must be assembled and operational, the step-up transformer has a tap on the step-up transformer, which was previously used in the throwout PMSM, the mouth is open. After the measurement of the moment of inertia is completed, the measured value is displayed on the screen. Then move on. Here is a menu with the final stage of the wizard. Enter the output frequency parameter and press the start button, after which there will be a start with parameter control, a transition to vector control, and an exit to the reference frequency. The operation with the wizard has been successfully completed and the VSD is ready for operation. 
return to the main menu and click Start, after which VSD will bring equipment into operation mode. Learn how to measure PMM parameters and run it in vector control mode in the video Running PMM in Vector Mode using the wizard and measure parameters. Find out more about Triol products on our website and social media.